Life ain't luck, man. This is what life is. Life is hard work. Life is faith. And life is grace. You just keep the faith and work really hard and then ask God for as much grace as he can give you. He gives you stuff you don't deserve. That's what you want out of life. Justice is when you get what you deserve. Mercy is when you don't get what you deserve. Grace is when you get what you don't deserve. I just want some grace. I want God to give me a house that I don't really deserve. See, that's a problem with people. They think they deserve something. No, you don't. I work really hard. Everybody work hard. You just need some grace, man. You just need God to give you something that you didn't even ask for. That's when life get real special for you. So you can want all you want, but if you line up with the will of God, what God has planned for you is way better than anything you could ever plan. That's how you get the life of your dreams, man. Give us this day our daily bread. Don't ask for nothing else. Quit worrying about tomorrow. When you worry about tomorrow, you're off into something you have no say-so in. You have no control. So why would you worry? By worrying does not add a single hour to a day. It would be amazed what would happen to you if you quit tripping about tomorrow. Today is plenty. Worry long enough, it'll drop you to your knees. Could reduce you to begging. I know how bad this one is. I used to have it bad. But I'll tell you what. My advice to you is do what I finally did. Give it up. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying it's worth it. And I discovered you could live the most incredible life free of worry. Not free of challenge, free of worry. The Lord knows when is often an expression. I wanted to have more meaning than a casual American colloquialism. I wanted to point to the fact that the Lord knows when is my conviction. It is comforting to say the Lord knows when, especially when I don't to rebuke the tendency to believe that our lives are chaotic, to know and to remind yourself that God has a plan and he has a schedule, he has a structure, gives comfort whether he shares it with me or not. It's like children going on a ride and they're in the back seat of the car and they keep saying to you, are we there yet? Yet they are comfortable to ride on the car because they know that their father or their mother has the wheel. I don't know whether we're at the end of suffering. I don't know whether we're at the end of sacrifice. Are we there yet? But I do know who holds the wheel. I'm not worried about where I am in the journey because I know before we got in the car, you had a plan, you had a map, you had a strategy, you had a timing. And I'm going to wait on you. It is possible to be going through a process of healing and know it's coming, but don't know when. God has a when. He's not making this up as he goes. He's not just responding to your moves, your attitudes, and the, the attacks of the enemy, and the things your friends say about you. You are not at the mercy of your detractors. You hate us. You are only at the mercy of the timing of God. And God knows when. I might not come forth today. I may not even come forth next week or next month. But when he has tried me, I shall come forth as pure gold. I know how the story ends. And every contaminant that would contaminate my worth or value will have burned off in the process, but not me. Gold don't burn, baby. It may melt, but it will never burn. So if God allows me to put me in the fire for a while, he's only trying to burn off those things that would weaken my value, and I shall come forth as pure gold. You should be tried, but you're going to survive. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. God has a watch and a timer is on it and it's already set. 
Everything is on schedule. I said nothing is chaotic. Everything is on schedule. Don't worry about your purpose. Worry about your season. Because when you get in your season, your purpose will be clear. God knows when. God knows how. God knows what. There are times you go through a season of mourning, a season of struggle. I've gone through seasons of weeping. Not a few minutes or an hour, seasons of weeping. God has a time already set aside. Didn't you hear the bell ring? Did you not hear that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning? Do you not know that God has a win? You don't know what God's going to fight with, but I declare God's going to get you out of this. You don't know who God's going to use, but God's going to get you out of this. And all of a sudden, he began to turn everything around. In one moment, the weeping turned to laughter. And your tongue was singing. And all of a sudden, I am going to bless you so good that even the unbelievers are going to say the Lord have done great things for them. You know, people, are, they write books about success. And people kill me when they write about success, but they don't tell people about God. You're trying to be successful without God, you ain't gonna make it. You might make it a little way, but you can't stay there. You have to have faith, man. You don't believe in God, go to hell. If you wanna go to hell, I'm perfectly comfortable with that. Just don't drag me with you. I was interviewing this guy, he said, well, Steve, you're opposed, there's no heaven. Well, then I lived the best life I could and there's no heaven. You got a bigger problem. Pose it is. I don't believe God would burn us up. No. I take a chance. You know the real reason I want to go to heaven? Because I want to see my mom. I remember when I, I bought the home for my mother and she came. That was my first major goal. And as she went from room to room, looking at the house and saying, thank you, Lord. No one ever could have convinced me that this could have happened to me. She said, no one could have convinced me that day when I walked in that house and this lady was holding you and your brother. And she said, ma'am, I want you to promise me two things. She says, one, promise me that you won't separate them. She said, I promise I won't. I've never had children. I promise I won't separate them. And she said, promise me that you'll never tell him about who I am because if my husband ever found out, he would kill me. And she said, as I held y'all in my arms, I never had any children of my own. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew with the help of God, I will do it. My mother had a dream of having children. She didn't know how she was going to do it. You're going to be just like that. Well, you don't know how. You're going to make this happen, but you just feel within yourself some way, with the help of God, I'm going to make it happen. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. It's possible for you to live your dream. It's necessary that you associate with winners, that you are relentless, that you never give up. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. That it's hard, but you've got to say, I'm the one. But you know it's going to be hard, but find out what will make it worth it for you. The people that are living their dreams of a people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, you gotta be hungry.